Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome. You've come to the right place today. Do you know where that is? It's my stream with me. You came to the correct place and welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Today, I decided to do something I have been putting off for a long time, which is basically making another ultimate forge. But it's huge grass. For a long time I've talked about how this map needs a ton of Ultimate Forge content. All of that sweet, sweet stuff that was in that mod, I'm gonna put a bunch of it in this mod today. Cause let's be real, if you've played Ultimate Forge or at least seen content about it, you know there's a bunch of really cool stuff in there that just like, kind of exists. But why not put it on a map where it can be put to good use? So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm talking sweet forge objects, extra vehicles, new weapons, all that good stuff. I want to put a bunch of it on here, and I want to absolutely just go crazy with it. So, get ready for that, because it's going to be pretty fun. Demon, thank you for the fiber. You made Reach look just like three. Impressive. I mean, I aim to please. I aim to please. For the record, this is actually Halo 3, if anyone thinks he's serious. Anyway, this is one of the last steps I need to do on this map. And I get to make a nice, beautiful, organized menu with tons of cool modded stuff on it. Because of course I'm going to do that. Was it ever in question? Don't answer that, because it's no. New weapons? Sorta. Basically a bunch of Ultimate Forge weapons. However, I am open to the idea of putting some really cool weapon tags that people have d uh, uploaded, not downloaded, that I can download and put in the map. Because I've seen some really cool ones around. And I'll be the first to admit, it's kind of tempting to put some of those in here and just let people play around with them. So far, everything in this mod, I believe everything here is content I've made. But I'm not a purist. I don't want it to just be stuff I've made. There's no shame in me taking some really, really fantastic tags from some very talented modders out there and putting them in here. I'm averse to it generally because people will try to credit me for it, even though I didn't make certain things. But at least so far, this mod is purely my work, so... I don't have to worry about people going, but rejected shotgun. They congrats on making uh, the vulture or something like that because I never made the vulture. Erdu, thank you so much for the fiver. I appreciate it. This is gonna make this map so much better for game nights. Thank you for doing this. Absolutely, Ultimate Forge content is phenomenal, and I love that mod. I'm very, I'm very critical of it because I made a lot of it, but. Besides the parts that I don't like, it was a lot of fun. The vehicle tags and things on there are great, and I want to add a lot of it on here. Army of Drags, thank you for the five. I appreciate it. There's one thing I want you to do. It's add life pod seats. It'll take five minutes. Um, I don't know if I can do that. I'd need custom animations for exiting, because you'd have to like get out of the seat and then like run out really fast. Maybe I could reuse pelican seats for it? I don't know, though. It might not work very well. I'll consider it, though. I'll take a look at the possibilities, because... The life pod could use some seats. That would be pretty cool. Uh, Darksteel, thank you for the fiver as well. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you. Oh, do I have to read this? Why do I have to read this? Hi, I'm Rejected Shotgun, and the Halo 4 is vastly superior to all other games in every way. And I will be modding in Halo 4 exclusively now. Wow, what a great super chat. That Those were totally my honest words and, and nothing else. So thank you for that, Dark. Really appreciate it. How much did Green pay you? Hey, listen to me. Tell me the honest truth. How much did Green pay you to write that? How much? I want to know numbers, Dark. I want to know numbers, damn it! He finally said it. I hate it here. I hate it here. Stream over. Goodbye. If I could roll faster, I would be off screen right now. Urgh! Help. Oh, nice. Ah! This is this is actually <clears throat> this is all going according to plan. What the fuck is happening? I did this on purpose. I just want you guys to know everything that you're witnessing right now. I absolutely did on purpose. Um, this balancing act. Is just really pure skill. I um, I do this all the time. It's pretty cool. 
What if I move like slightly? Oh, okay. Well, it was cool while it lasted. Uh, Drew Dickens. Your name literally sounds like something I have to reread and make sure I'm not about to say a bad word. But thank you very much for the fiver. I appreciate it. Uh, will you be improving AI mapping? Uh, wait, let me reread that. Will you be improving AI mapping and adding more city pieces? I won't be adding more city pieces, at least to this mod. Maybe do an Ultimate Forge update in the future. But I will be adding the city pieces from Ultimate Forge into this mod. So, yeah, there will be the city pieces from Ultimate Forge. I'll be adding... I will try to add everything from Ultimate Forge. There's nothing really stopping me, but certain pieces I might look at and be like, okay, well, that's there's no really no point in me adding that to this. It, you know, there's a couple pieces probably. But most of the stuff from Ultimate Forge, at least like as far as Forge objects go, definitely going to add them. Um, the same should go for AI. I'm going to add the spawnable AI. Um, I need to add AI waypoints all around this map. Obviously, I already have AI waypoints. Like, you can't see it. It's all the way to the right to the right of the anti-air gun over there. But obviously there's AI waypoints for the Sentinels that guard the neutral flag and stuff. Speaking of which, next game night, neutral flag and assault and everything will work. I also added King of the Hill points to the beam towers off in the corner of the maps, readjusted the hills so that they work better. A lot of the game mode stuff's working better now. I did that all off stream, it's really nice. Should be careful not to introduce the dead body bug. So I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm pretty sure um, I know why the dead body bug happened and it may have been my fault. Theoretically, there's no evidence of it. There's no hard evidence, but uh, theoretically, I may have gotten lazy and copied like an old, old file over instead of just like taking the time to make a new one, and it may possibly have introduced the dead body bug. But I don't know for sure, okay? It's like I'm I'm like 60% sure that I did that. But there's a 40% chance that I didn't do anything wrong, and it's all the, the, it's all the game's fault. So theoretically, I'm still good. Theoretically. <clears throat> Do you have the Halo firing animation yet? No, no, I don't. I was just, I was just making, I was just talking about that. I don't know, I don't know if I'm actually gonna do that. That's a lot of work. I want to finish this mod soon and work on Reach mods. Uh, but this mod's pretty much almost done. I'm really excited about that. Uh, I might do some more work on. Wait for it. The spirit. That's that's the spirit back there. I had a really good idea. I was like, what if I chopped that spirit over there into lots of little tiny pieces? And then I made it just kind of blow up the same way as the Phantom and add a couple of those little pieces I speed ran yesterday. And then just kind of throw it all together in one big explosion. This will be on Steam, right? Yeah, it'll be on Steam. Probably within like, give it like five days at most. I said like a week a couple days ago. So I'd say now counting down from there, like, I don't know, maybe five days-ish. Don't hold me to an exact date. Um, I'd like to get it out before this weekend though because I'm going to be really busy over the weekend. I got a bunch of friends coming in town and I... I'll still be working and stuff, but I won't be doing it as much. I'll have like a couple days off there, but yeah, generally should be pretty good. Um, so yeah, hopefully before this weekend, maybe we'll get a play test going. I, I want you guys to know this mod is like very, very close to completion. I know I keep saying that, but it's, I've been saying that for the past couple days because it's true. Like a lot of the stuff left over is just polish work and like setting up game modes. That's super, super easy to do. Um, well, that's besides the spirit, which we're going to finish today, hopefully. Spirit should be pretty easy. Like, literally all I have to do is make it so it takes damage with, like, a small explosion where it switches to, like, the broken version, and then it dies and it goes, and then it just explodes violently like the Phantom. That's it. That's, and then we good. We're done. Hey, Army of Drakes, thank you for tipping that $5 into the tip jar in the description. Much appreciated, as always. I know we're all excited for reach modding, but before you leave Halo 3, would you consider fixing Arc AI War? Uh, yeah, actually, that would be pretty easy. I added a bunch of stuff to Arcade I wore for testing, so I'll just have to go in there and delete it, make sure everything's running correctly, and then, yeah, I can I can upload it back to the workshop. It ain't no biggie. Uh, also, what happened to your new Mombasa ODST Forge map? Could you maybe release it? Oh, yeah. Um, I probably won't work on it for a little while, because, like I said, I'll be doing a lot of Halo Reach modding very soon. But um, that mod is also very close to completion, and it might be something that I can do on the side and just release. It would be great video content, so... Uh, I can't make any promises on any exact dates with my new Mombasa Forge mod, but yeah, I might, I might get that done off stream because it's really good video content, and I do need good video content right now. Bjorno, hey, welcome to the UNSC. Thanks for becoming a member. Much appreciated. Our Mombasa, true, true. Kind of sounded like a communist right now. Now, if you know, I'm a red-blooded American. 
We don't like that kind of duck around these parts. Or maybe we do. I don't know. Uh, I don't like to get political, you know what I'm saying? I just make Halo mods. Just, uh, here, yeah, yeah, you want to hear a bold political take from a Halo modder? Be nice to people. Treat people with respect, you idiots. Not you specifically, but, like, the people who don't do that. I know. I'm very brave for that. I'm no, it's, it's, it's hard to watch such a brave and controversial streamer such as myself, but, you know, what can I say? I, uh... I aim to please, I aim to really get those introspective, those deep thoughts out there. It's just my nature, I'm sorry. What about Halo 3 Extinction? Did I ever finish that? Uh, that's gonna go into Halo Reach. Extinction, I'm gonna take that map and I'm gonna redo it in Halo Reach. Uh, it's probably not going to be in Halo 3. Maybe, I don't know, maybe if I do it in Reach and I like it, I'll backport it to Halo 3. But for now, it's it's going to be a Reach mod. I'm going to do the Space mod for Reach. Then maybe like a random other mod while I'm like working and learning the new Reach workflow. And then Extinction. I'm really excited for that. Extinction in Halo Reach is going to be so much fun again. I really, really am looking forward to it. Demon, thank you for that fiver. Really appreciate it. Remember that the twins from Atomic Heart are communist. And wow, and so am I all of a sudden. Suddenly I am too. That's crazy. That's absolutely wild. Can we get the Russian National Anthem playing right now? Somebody, please. The twins are kind of baddies. No, that's no, absolutely. God, they're so fucking fine. Oh my god. Oh my god. We thought about porting the short sword from Halo Wars 1 into Halo 3. Green Knight already did that a while ago. Um, it looked really cool. I think I still have the files for it. He sent them over to me not too long ago, but yeah, maybe. I'd probably want to recreate it. After watching Skaboodly make so many great Halo Wars vehicles, recreating them from scratch, like, man, would absolutely love to try my hand at it too. So I probably wouldn't just port it, because porting stuff from Halo Wars 1 is like, yikes, man. Halo Wars 1 vehicles have like the tiniest textures and the lowest quality models ever. When you stand up next to them in Halo 3, you're just staring like, what is this blurry blob I am looking at right now? Even after upscaling, it's uh, it's not so great. DJ Aftershock with the two. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you. Your Spartan needs to see a chiropractor soon. No? Wrong. Ah! Ah! Where am I? Help! Shit. How did that even happen? Look, the fact of the matter is, I don't need to see a chiropractor. Oh my god. I don't need to see a chiropractor, and there's one reason for that. What you're observing right now, this is peak gaming posture. I have achieved the ultimate gamer hunch. The gamer gunch, if you will. And, frankly speaking, I am at peak male performance over here. Okay, I'm coming. Over here. I'm locating myself in this particular direction. Relax. Relax. Anyway, we got some cool work to do today. Let me, let's poke around. Let's take a little gander. Let's investigate what's going on with the mod today. So let me, let me turn on our structure data. Let's make sure we can see some grass. Okay, that looks terrible. Okay, we move there, and then we go... Okay, there we go. No more glowing grass. I lied. Lots of glowing grass. No more glowing grass. Although it's not shaded, but whatever. Who cares? Oh! Ah, whatever. Good enough. Good enough. Rejected as an AI-generated streamer. This is actually true. I am one of the most advanced artificial intelligences on this planet. For those of you who weren't in the stream yesterday, check this out. This is what we did yesterday. From the Halo Reach alpha files, this is ported over to Halo 3 with all the textures. The damaged spirit model that never made it into the final cut of Halo Reach. Looking pretty dang good over here in Halo 3. Lots of dents and broken bits. A little bit of touching up was needed, but generally it's looking good. Is there a placeable water shotgun? 
Not like proper water, not like this. This is real water with waves and splashes and you go in it and there's fog. However, I do have a giant water plane that I'm going to be pulling from Ultimate Forge today. And I'll be putting that in the mod. Basically, uh, some portion of the stream today is going to be me going into Ultimate Forge, grabbing a bunch of really cool stuff and being like, okay, I put you in this mod now. And then, you'll never guess, I put it in this mod. Crazy, right? Oh no, my coffee's getting cold. I have to sip it. Hold on. My coffee's getting cold. I have to I have to finish it. Oh, that was rough. Oh, that was rough. Slightly below room temperature coffee. Hold on. Ah. Caffeine. Shotgun, will you order me a sandwich? Um, yes, but you have to order me a sandwich first. That's the deal. Huh, look at that. Little mechanism. Was it there in the main model? Demon! Thank you very much for the fiver. Appreciate it. But is there seats in the forks? Oh, that's a good point. After I ended stream yesterday, I was sitting there and I was like, wait, I'm actually really dumb and stupid because I streamed all the spirit work and then I didn't add seats to it. Like I did, I, I put it all in there in the model. I just didn't make it so you can actually get in them. So let me do that right now. Hold on. Because I'm going to be honest. Like I, I totally forgot that I set up the seats completely and then just like never like made it enterable, if that makes sense. Whoa, it's me. Holy crap. It's me. Didn't do my hair up today. Can you believe it? Jimmy Neutron Dream is dead. So sorry about that. Um, but let's add a quick seat to this thing. It's actually really easy to do it. Um, all I have to do is go into the vehicle tag and set it up there. That's pretty easy. Pretty freaking easy. Army of Drakes, thank you so much for the $5 tip. Much, much appreciated. I haven't forgotten about it. Can you finish the CAS? It would be a really good addition. Not in this mod. Uh, it would be way too big. Okay, when I spawn the Corvette on this map, it, like, I, I don't want to do it right now. Actually, fuck it. I'll, I'll spawn it in. But basically, the Corvette is significantly smaller than the CAS, like, super carrier, the assault carrier, whichever one you want to say, because they're, let's be real, they're identical. Um... And when I spawn in the Corvette, 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 there it is. Yeah, well, you'll see here in like two seconds, the CAS is going to be a little bit large for this map. I'm lagging, everything hurts, I'm in physical pain. Oh my god, wait, I gotta turn this up. Oh, it's the Halo Wars menu music, we're restarting it. Okay, let's try this again. Take two. Okay, take three. So this is the size of the Corvette on this map. As you can probably tell, it is extremely large. It is just enormous. It's something else. That being said, it's also still very badass, so there's that. Demon, thank you for the two. Appreciate it. Uh, Green is talking about the vehicle boat, is he? Uh, yeah, well, uh, shortly, a little bit later on the stream, we'll do the vehicle boat. I'll do one more day of vehicle boat, and then we will put the final pull up on Discord tomorrow. And then we'll actually get the results in, and I'll be excited to see what, I, uh, what I'm going to be ended up making. God, that just never gets old. That really just, it does not get old. Why one more day? I don't know, I just decided arbitrarily. Just to give people a little more time, because we I haven't been on it every day. I want to be fair. And that's my decision. It's so cool, dude. I fucking love this vehicle. Gather all the legit votes now. Well, I don't want to do it on stream. So, I'd have to wait till uh, tomorrow anyway. We'll do one more vote today, and then, like I said, I'll decide. 
I'm excited to see as well uh, what everybody really wants to do. Green has them. Yeah, but I don't want to ask him to do all that work right now. Unless you're willing to, Green. But I don't I don't want to ask that of you. Well, why is my webcam like so it's so far off? There we go. Much better. Um, let me reset it. I have to I reset my webcam after every stream because I I don't want to be stared at by my secret government agents. Oh, that was way too much fun. I'm definitely putting this on the Forge menu, for the record. I don't care if it's ridiculous and has no place. You can't stop me. I have already decided this. This is simply the way. Ooh, this is kind of cool. What are we listening to now? This, it's, it, what is it? That's not even Halo music! Why are we playing that? I'm gonna need Spotify to explain itself because I don't know what the fuck is happening. Okay, this is, this is a good song, but how about something like this? Better. When you begin modding Reach, will you add more Covenant structures? There's no Covenant walls or paths in the default game, only scenery. Absolutely. I'll add tons of Covenant structures. The cool thing about Halo 3 is that you have a lot of Forerunner structures. Halo Reach, however, the Forerunners are a footnote in the story. They have an important role to play in the plot in the form of being a secret underground Forerunner structure in one of the final missions, but other than that, there's more or less no Forerunner stuff going on in Reach. It's all about humans and the Covenant, baby. Joe, thank you for the two. Appreciate it. Green did all the work already. Okay. Noted. Noted. Citadel ported to Halo Reach? Meh, maybe. I could. I don't know if I will, but I could. Ironically, Forerunner aesthetic is probably the most common thing you find in Reach Matchmaking. I know, it's kind of random that Forerunner structures of all things is what it forges. Wait, you condensed the results? Already? Into a new poll? Okay, uh... It's done already. Oh shit. Well, we could open the poll right now in chat and then post on the Discord as well right now and then we can get the uh, vehicle poll going and see by the end of stream what everybody's voted on. Green has had that for days? I don't know, I haven't seen it. Maybe I'm just blind. I didn't know we already finished everything. Warner's the easiest aesthetic, I'd assume? Oh, definitely. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's still design principles and things you need to follow, but absolutely still. Uh, much simpler than a lot of other stuff. Demon, thank you so much for the fiver. Appreciate it. I have a feeling that if someone does don't make the Wraith Invader, someone will cough green. Oh, that if I don't make the Wraith Invader. Uh, I don't know. I've never heard green talk about it before, but he does like making Halo Wars vehicles, so maybe. Can you go over the results and remove any you don't want to do? Yeah, of course. If you can send them my way, like just a list in any format, I'll, I'll take a look. Oh my god. I have to add Big Booty Chun-Li Fortnite into Halo. So true. What if you had a Covenant base from Halo Wars 1? Uh, nah, they're kind of blurry. They don't look so good. If I retexture it, maybe. If I, or if I do, it did do something like that, I would have to retexture it. Okay, uh, I'm getting distracted. I was doing... Oh yeah, we're gonna add seats. Let's add seats to the spirit real quick. This is a super, super easy thing to do. All right, so here is, well, what is this? Snap to normal, gravity, local axes, whatever. Oh wait, local axes? Oh my God, I should have enabled that a long time ago for certain things. Anyway, um, let's add some seats to this real quick. Let's get the non-destroyed variant, there we go. And check it out, tuning fork vehicle. You should import your Halo 3 Spirit into Reach. I am. One of the great things about making stuff that fits in Reach is art style and aesthetic and stuff, specifically this. Guess what? I get to port this over to Reach pretty much instantly. It's very straightforward, very simple to do. All right, let me check the Google Forms. Green sent me the, uh, the vehicle list. Oh my god, wait, you added images and everything to it. What? This is a great list. 
Oh my god, there's some on here I really want to do. You condensed it down to like some really great vehicles, dude. This is awesome. Thank you for doing that. I really appreciate it. Okay. Um, Derp, thank you so much for the three. Into the tip jar it goes. Much appreciated. Hey, what's poppin' gamers? Watching the stream while eating pizza. Ah, you're making me want to get some pizza. I think after this stream I might cook some pizza. Is the poop limo on there? Of course, Brains. Yeah, no, totally. The poop limo is totally... Let's be real. I'm already making the poop limo when it comes to time to do our little meme stream, so... You don't have to worry. The poop limo is coming. And it will also be in the game. Alright, let's add the seats really quickly. Um, you know what? Green, since you already put in all the work for the um, vehicle poll, if you want to go ahead and put it into chat right now, I will pin it. And then I'll make an announcement on Discord, unless for whatever reason you want to do that as well. And then we'll get going, and we'll start to see what vehicle comes out on top. Put it in Discord announcements? Yeah, exactly what I meant to say. It will be in Discord announcements. Demon, thank you very much for the fiver. Appreciate you. Watching the stream while eating Cinnamon Toast Crunch with chocolate milk? Can you do that? Is that legal? It sounds delicious, but like... You're gonna have a heart attack. Alright, I'm pinning it. Guys, go ahead and vote. This is the vehicle vote. Green has condensed the results down to some great, great options. I'm gonna put in my vote. I'm not telling you guys which. Green, green. There's a problem. Green, there's a problem. You can submit multiple responses. You can, you can re, you can, uh, you can submit multiple. Green. Green, listen. You can, you can submit multiple. I was able to re, I was able to submit a second one. Oh wait, I lied. I lied. I tried it again. I lied. It, relax. It's all good. It's we good. We good. I tried to send a second one and it was like, hold on a second, bucko. Watch yourself, buddy. And I was like, okay, no, no, it's fine. No Wolverine. It was in fact not on the list. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I didn't just change it. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> noted, noted. Some local host. Thank you so much for the one dollar tip into the tip jar. Much, much appreciated. Rock wraith, rock wraith, rock wraith. Okay, well, theoretically, what if I made a wraith that just shot out a massive boulder, asking for a friend? What the fuck? I still have all the phantom seats on here. Oh my god. Okay, let me delete some of the extra phantom seats, and then I'll try to re. You know what? Actually, I'll put one seat in that does work. So we'll do PC1, I think, which is, yeah, PC1 will be the last one. Okay, three, two, one, and then small cargo two gets deleted, phantom large cargo gets deleted, and then I think that's player cargo or something, but yeah, that should be where um, AI go in. So that's good. So basically, I uncheck invalid for player, I do... Uh, first person on enter, no, 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 not first person camera, slaved to gun, no. It's not a boarding seat, not leader preference, not a lot, disallow AI shooting, I just need it to be set to allow weapons, allows exit and detach, no. Allows weapons, there, okay, so basically you get in the seat, you still have your weapons, you can still shoot them, everything's fine. Um, and that should be good. That should, should be good. So let me give that a try though. Last thing I need to do is go open Blender very quickly. 
and make sure that I know what the uh, seed is. Joe the Assassin, thank you for the two. Reach Condor. Oh, I will probably be adding the Reach Condor to, to actually reach at some point because I like the like the visual of the vehicle a lot. It's pretty rad. I might have to make a decent few adjustments to it, all things considered. Okay, let me make sure the name of the seats. We have a Passenger L1, which is this one right here. In game, it is this seat here. So I'm going to add Passenger L1 in and I'm going to see whether or not I need to reposition it. So label is going to be let's do hornet passenger left for now set it to this set it to this and if i did everything right it should let me in let's see hey i'm in my my ass is backwards and my camera's in the wrong place but let's see Okay, I am positioned sort of correctly. I'm backwards though, so that's that is a thing. Zach Ver, thanks for re-upping for a month. Much appreciated. Welcome, welcome. No matter what gets chosen, all these are badass. Yeah, I actually agree. Green did a really good job narrowing down everybody's submitted results. That looked really good. Um, I'm genuinely excited. No matter what is picked for the vehicle vote, I'm gonna be excited to work on it. Like they all sound really, really fun. Hey, blatant throwaway. Thank you so much for the 10. I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you, thank you. It's good to see you. Do you think they'll ever fully fix desync, or is the engine showing its age? You should think that would be their number one priority. What specifically do you mean? If you mean an infinite, that's a definitely going to be a fixable thing they can work on. But if you mean an MCC, uh, I mean, realistically, both should be fixable. I think it's a more of a matter of prioritization because given enough time and research and debugging, you could probably find the biggest causes of desync. Um, I feel like it'd be more like MCC, maybe not, maybe, maybe not. I'd say like 50, 50, but it, if you're talking about infinite, probably a bigger priority. The engine is definitely showing its age though. No doubt about that. It for sure is. I'm gonna call you Shamsy. Thank you, Shamsy, for the two. Much appreciated. Drivable version of the Super Scarab would be cool. I agree. That being said, I don't know if that's gonna be possible because there is no model of the Super Scarab, and I'm not sure I really want to make one because that's a lot of work, and I'm really not that talented of a modeler. I'm like, I'm mediocre. I'm like, I can make stuff for sure, but I'm slow and my process is a little bit cursed because I have not been modeling professionally at all. I guess technically I model professionally because I stream myself doing it and anything that you have ever made a single penny off of makes you a professional, which is kind of fun fact. Is there a model of the cut APC? I don't know. I actually have no idea. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna reimport the spirit. I just fixed the passenger seats on it because they they are literally backwards, which I'm gonna be the first to admit is not on purpose. Demon with the fiver, thank you so much, much appreciated. You know what engine doesn't show its age? Halo Four. Yeah, you know what engine doesn't even have environmental lighting and it only lights things in a pure white? Halo Four. Yeah, I went there. I went there. I said it. Siege. Okay, Dark Bull, stop spamming. Stop. I'm going to time you out if you keep spamming, man. Have some common sense. Alright. Uh, tuning fork. Tuning fork. There you are. So I'm going to slap the tuning fork model in here. Let me make sure. When did this get exported? 6.36 p.m. That's the one. That is the one. All right, let's get the uh, updated seats in here real quick. Tool, render, objects. Excuse me, objects, vehicles, tuning, fork, draft. 
Just saying, the Siege engine has a crew of 12, so you could pilot it with all the homies. Can't do that with the Condor. You can pilot it with two homies and some people in the back. But I agree. The Siege engine does sound really cool. I mean, all of those vehicles are really cool. I'm not going to say which one I voted for. Because uh, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to shift the vote at all. But I voted for one I think would be pretty rad. This is not bad, actually. I do need to make a camera marker because my camera ends up in the middle of the vehicle when I get, like, up and down. But check it out. Whoa. This is cool, man. I'm going to make this into a window for sure. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to test what it looks like when you're inside of it. So I, I got out of it. I made sure the animation stayed closed. And I'm going to jump in this seat. So if you were in this with no window, basically you would just, yeah, you would see, you would see this. You'd be looking around like, wow, what's, what's going on, guys? Siege Engine's winning at 33%. Damn, 33% of people voted for Siege Engine. That's wild. The Siege Engine, I will say, is not the one I voted for, but I was tempted to vote for it because it looks really cool. Demon with $2. Super chat. Much appreciated. Drake voted for the Mammoth. I did not, but I also considered that one because the Mammoth is something I've wanted to add to Reach for a long time. My, you're actually going to be surprised if I tell you what I voted for. I'll wait to say it, but it's it's something that I think would be a fun project for me. Not because I have any particular stock invested in that vehicle, but I just think it looks cool and it wouldn't be that crazy to make. Okay, I do need to move um, all the passenger seats like downward a little bit. And then once I get the physical positioning done right, uh, then I think I'll do the camera tracks. Because when you have a first person vehicle like this, just a fun little fact for you, you have to position the camera where your first person player is looking out of. Not entirely sure why. Like I, I kind of get why, but yeah, basically I have to manually position it. All right, let's throw this into the game real quick. Go with Kachow, looking good. Would have voted for the Wolverine, but I didn't make the cut. Yeah, unfortunately. But we had to. It had to be narrowed down to a select few, enough to be voted on. <coughs> oh, God bless America. Right, let's see. Are my feet touching the ground? That's. That's pretty good. That's that's acceptable. Is my booty in the wall? It's not in the wall. That's promising. Um, however... One, two, three, four. Wait a minute. Is the interior completely different on the damaged version? No way. What the f... I think it might be just like totally different. Oh my god, it is! That's wild! The update look, okay, so this is the this is from Halo Reach. Pulled straight out of Halo Reach. Check it out. One I'll count the seats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if I get the one from the Reach Alpha to spawn in, I didn't even realize it. It's only got four seats and they've got a completely different design. Or not four, it's got No, yeah, it has four seats. Shit, I didn't notice that at all. That's going to be so weird, but whatever. It is what it is. Yeah, that's got a very different design, though. I, I have to say, I'm much more of a fan of this one where they compressed it. I think it looks better. Obviously, it holds more enemies, but that's crazy looking. It looks like they literally squished it and then added holograms to it, if you notice. like, See how it's kind of squished right there? Like, it's like kind of a thin line, but it's got the same geometry, and then... Here it's the same thing but wider. That's interesting for sure. Well, I hope nobody notices. Because <laughs> I am not changing that. I am not fixing that. That's just how it is. Demon, thank you so much for the fiber. Surprised the Wolverine didn't make it. An anti-air ground vehicle for the UNSC. Look, all I'm saying is just because it's not on the vehicle vote doesn't mean I'm not going to make it. I'm going to be making many, many vehicles for Halo Reach. Many, many vehicles. And I am certainly not opposed to making um, 
some Halo Wars stuff. Dude, how is the Mammoth in second? I actually don't know. I mean, I'm not surprised. The Mammoth is a cool-ass vehicle. Damn, you take so much damage that your seats get cut in half. That's crazy. <laughs> okay, this looks good, though. So, let me try positioning a camera. Oh, I will... Duplicate all of these. And make sure there's not any duplicates here. So just in the ones I've selected, find and replace on these objects 0 0.001 with underscore camera. Boom. Okay, there we go. So now I went ahead and made a bunch of camera points for all of these. All I'm going to do is I'm going to look in game. I'm going to see my, my character's head is about here at like... The point at which they diverge, like, it's about at the hologram, a little bit below the hologram, the large section of the hologram. So I'm going to take all these camera markers, I'm going to move them up like this to about here, and that should be a good spot for the camera. Let's see. Export again. Hopefully, I'll actually be able to look around inside, inside this thing, this thingy thing. Project doesn't realize making damage stage for the siege engine is going to be too great a challenge. I'm I'm welcoming the challenge. I already have the model for the prototype siege engine. I know exactly what it's supposed to look like, so not exactly too crazy. It'll be a lot of work. Don't get me wrong, like a lot of work, but I'm willing to do it. I'm absolutely willing to do it. I almost did it like not too long ago, but I kind of just like. Changed my mind. Okay, so I moved it here. I don't know how far I moved it up specifically, but I do know I need to move it a fair few units forward. That way I can't see into my own asshole. <laughs> so, okay, good, good. Uh, that's a good That's a good camera height. So I'm going to take this camera height. For each of these, they are at 226.25, and I'm going to do the exact same thing for everything on the right. Duplicate them, rename them, and then set their Z to here. Okay. What was it supposed to be? 226.251. So I'm going to move it up to 226.2. That close enough. And then the other thing I need to do is find out specifically how far I need to move them forward. So I'll grab all the camera tracks, like so. And I will move them forward like this. Let's say about 190.47. That should be good. Let's see how that looks in game now. Demon, thank you very much for the fiver. Too many large covey vehicles. I think that's why the Mammoth is in second, because we need a large UNSC vehicles. I'll never say too many, or too... There's no never too many large vehicles. In my opinion, anyway. But I agree, the UNSC needs better large vehicles in general, because we have, what, scarabs? Big covenant ships that fly in space. We've got seraphs. The UNSC does have the Saber for a reasonably large fighter. It's got the Scorpion, but yeah, nothing for the ground that's much bigger than the Scorpion. Okay. I can no longer... Oh. Okay, well, I can, I can turn behind me, but I'm not supposed to be able to. It looks pretty good, though. This is a good position for the camera. If I just make it so I can't look inside my asshole pardon my French then everything should be okay I like it let's change how far I can see so we'll do minimum minus 90 maximum 90 what does that do okay so it lets me look that way so minimum minus 180 maximum zero that was the opposite direction I needed to go minimum zero maximum 180 there we go. 
Now I can only look in these directions. I can still kind of see my booty hole, but yeah, whatever. I could just make it so I can't look down too far. Wait a minute. That's what I should have done. Instead of moving it all the way like that, I could just... Oh, let me do something. I'm going to re-export this back out really quickly. I just realized I can just limit how far I can look down and then just not deal with the issue. Because then there's no longer an issue. Go into here. I can just change the yaw maximum, blah, blah, blah. Where's the pitch maximum? Pitch range would be, what, negative... 60 to 90? That should let me, theoretically. Yeah, so now I, maybe I'll do like negative. Negative 50? No, negative 40 maybe. That's not bad, check it out. I can no longer see my toesies. I'm inside here, hugging the back of the wall. Jump on out, no problem. Let's see, how does this look from the outside? Not bad, not bad. I'll have to fix the physics model so you can get up in here easier, but yeah, that's pretty good. I like it. Try a different seat. I gotta set up the different seats. I'm just gonna make one perfect seat and then duplicate it a bunch of times so it's easier. I don't wanna have to go and like fix stuff for every single thing. Pretty cool though. Pretty darn cool. Isn't that the wrong spot? Technically, no. It's uh, it's because I was talking about a minute ago. This is the Reach Alpha Destroyed Spirit. Notice there's only four seats, but then the default Halo Reach Spirit the one that they actually released with the game has all eight seats, so when I uh, when I jump in now, I, I will actually line up with the seat. Kind of tempted to fix that, not gonna lie. It looks, it looks a little weird to have the entirety of the inside change when you take damage. I didn't even notice it until just now when I was setting up the seats, but... Yeah, the Halo Reach Alpha Spirit apparently only had four seats instead of eight. Let's go! Pretty sweet though. Seat's looking good. I don't really have any complaints and I don't think there's anything else I really want to fix so I can just delete the, or not delete, duplicate it. Duplicate. Set it to L2, L2, L2. And let's see if it worked. Give me the other seat. Damn, that's crazy. It just works. Is the third person perspective looks terrible, but first person, pretty sweet. Go, go, go. Yeah, nice. I can just uh, copy this like a thousand times. Why would you need more than four seats on each side? You get options. It's all about opportunity or something. I have no idea. But I already decided that I was going to do all the seats anyway, so it's too late. The decision is made. 16 seats total. Also, it's just kind of cool. You can kind of spread out. You have various like places you can go. Everyone's not just like packed evenly together. I mean, this should be nearly done with the entire left side just by doing this duplication. Okay. I hear my roommate screaming downstairs like very quietly. Okay. Looks good. Uh, let me switch back to the correct model for this. That's not what I meant to do. Here goes nothing. Yo! It just works. 
It just works. Et voilà. A beautiful picture. Perfect creation. Now the real question is, what do I have to edit to get the right side to work? Do I need to change the animation, the yaw values? What's what are, we, what are we looking at here? Can you carry a flag or bomb in the seat? Yes. Hello? Okay, I gotta go fix that. <laughs> they are all completely turned around. So we gotta go to every single thing here. R Z one eighty. So uh, while I rotate all of these the correct amount, how are you guys' days going? Cause uh, mine's going pretty good. I'm feeling good today. Got coffee in my system. Vibin had some made made some bomb ass sandwiches earlier. Like the video? Oh yeah, if you guys are enjoying the stream right now, do be sure to leave a like to let the YouTube algorithm know that this is a pretty good stream. I like to think this is good content. The fact is, it's probably not though. I'm literally just sitting here in Blender and in the mod tools kind of existing and trying to make shit look cool, but... You know, I'm having fun, and that's what matters at the end of the day. My orange soda froze. Is that a good thing? Is it like an orange soda slushy now? Because that kind of sounds bomb. The passenger's going to get mowed down. No, no. I actually fixed that on the Pelican, by the way. You take very little damage in the back seat. That is entirely fixed. So is the spirit's driver's seat. Oh, you won't get... Oops, sorry. You won't get insta-killed anymore. I think most of the damage seats are, are fixed and they're all good. Sprite flavored milk? Take that back. Okay, this is working, but also... My values for the cameras are now backwards, so I just gotta fix that real quick. Pitch range should be just fine. And then, let's see, yaw, maximum, wait, yaw, minimum? I think it needs to be negative 180 now. Or wait, negative, or no, 180 to zero? Does it just need to be the reverse? Nice, okay, I think that's it. Demon, thank you very much for the fiver. Appreciate it. Ask your roommate if she gets the joke of it. They were roommates. Also, I'll explain in DMs if need be. Yeah, I have no idea what that reference is. I'm pretty sure she's busy, but oh, I could ask her. I don't know the reference. I was about to say, you said, what is this music? I have literally no idea what is playing right now. Oh, it's, it's from Halo 4. Requiem, Bobby Tank Remix. It's okay, we don't have to do that. What is that melody? Well, this seat looks like it's set up properly, so that's promising. Wicked! <laughs> looks good. Looks, uh, looks pretty good. Oh, you can see my microphone in there, look at that little circle. Little ring. I speak into the ring and you can hear me. Do you like that? Alright, let's go. Let's duplicate this a bunch of times and then make it into uh, a fully working vehicle. Oh god, wait. Oh no, there is something I have to edit on all of these. The entry distance. <sighs> I've made a terrible mistake. I've made a terrible, terrible mistake. The entry radius was supposed to be bigger on all of them. My phone's so hot, what the fuck? I've heard of audio files, but that's a new one for me. Thought you were just into like people, but all right. Let's 
Mega Banish Scarab again? Uh, there's not really any reason to. Maybe though. If I can find a way to get Scarabs to actually work effectively in Halo Reach, I'll consider it. I'm working on the Halo 2 Anniversary Scarab there, so it could be good. Could be, uh, could be pretty good. Could be, uh, pretty cool. When I'm modding like this and I'm doing very uh, tedious tasks, like uh, duplicating these seats right now, I have like so much caffeine running through my veins. I don't know if you can see like my like head shaking slightly. I'm like kicking my foot, like tapping my foot so violently right now because I'm super focused on this task, but like there's just so much energy in my body. <laughs> Okay, one more. We're on the final one. Here we go. Boom. Okay, so I think I've now set up every single seat for this. Let's see. Jump into a random one. Nice. Nice. They all work. Um, looks good. There you go, everybody. I do need to make some edits so that the animation on these doors looks good, and I'll probably gut the other interior from the uh, alpha version and replace it with this one, but yeah, all the seats work, guys. There you go. The spirit has passenger seats. Let's fucking go. Pretty rad. Demon, thank you very much for the fiver. Siege Engine has five Scarab Beams on it. What? Is that true? That can't be true. Think of what just one of those abominations would do to the particle budget. I'll have to budget really hard. I'll have to make some like really decent looking effects that do not kill the particle budget. Should attach the doors to a suspension system like the Pelican Landing Gear? Oh yeah, I agree actually. I agree. I'll have to do that. I might be able to do that right now, actually. Mm, I'll set up suspension properly in Blender and everything. This is cool, though. I'm glad that it's starting to work. Ladies and gentlemen, the Halo Reach Spirit. In Halo 3. Looks good. Now, as to what the main title of this stream was about, I'm going to work on the spirit some more today, but I want to do some ultimate forge stuff. So, with that in mind, I'm going to open the Halo 3 tag test right now. And uh, I'm going to load ultimate forge in there, enter forge mode, and make a list of everything that I want, and then I'm going to organize them in like a nice way. And I want to get your guys' thoughts on uh on what you think i should add specifically so i'm gonna let me while it's loading here let's do what full screen gameplay okay there we go so we're loading this is tag test which is pretty sweet reach invasion with siege engine i know the, the thing i'm most excited for with reach mods is the invasion game mode because it's really fucking fun and there's so much potential with it. Valhalla Tower should be added. Fuck it. Reach invasion with the siege engine. I know, dude. Invasion with so many things would be amazing. So so amazing. All right, let's do this. So we can do game multiplayer sandbox, and I do game start levels multi alpine sandbox. Alpine Sandbox. And then we load up now in Tag Test uh, Ultimate Forge. Import the Covenant ship with the hangar on Truth and Reconciliation. That could be cool. <sighs> if 
You know, now that I think about it, it would be possible even in Halo 3 to do like capture the flag where you have a flag attached to like a giant ship that you have a player flying around or something. Because I can make a map script that's, that attaches the flag object to a ship and then a player could control that ship and it would get past the glitch where like stuff you place on an elephant goes to the center of the map. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, no, that, that glitch wouldn't happen because it wouldn't spawn in Forge. Damn, that would be sick. But I'm gonna do everything in Reach anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Don't even matter. Siege engine is so large, it's almost as big as your mother. Damn. That's rough. So, context, what we're doing right now. For those who are just joining, we're loading Ultimate Forge up, um, and we're in Forge mode, we're about to be. I'm making a big old list of what I want. There's that handsome lad streaming. Ashland, it's so good to see you. Welcome to the stream. Let's not forget your beautiful Garbage 07 speedrun world record of 150.87. That's true. That was maybe the highlight of my life ever, period. Or you could use the bombs from assault. That's true. That's true. Reach cursed mod when? When do you think? When do you think man we've talked about this many times okay debug zero h oh there's a grunt You guys at the Daily Tib Goal rejected said he would take off his shirt? That's true, I totally said that. I did. Was that TOS? Can I get banned off YouTube for doing that? I'm a dude, right? It was fine. Probably fine. Hey, it's Ultimate Forge. It is! Okay, so. Let's look at all the weapons, alright? These are all the custom weapons in Ultimate Forge. Scarab Gun, Scarab Gun H2, Glassing Gun, Sniper Rifle Silence, Battle Rifle Tactical, Shotgun Tactical. Kind of a useless weapon. Nuke Launcher and Fist of Rucked. I'm thinking add the Scarab Guns, add the ODST weapons, and the Nuke Launcher. Maybe Fist of Rucked too. I don't know if Green wants me to do that, but I could do that. Let me add it. I have a I have a word document open where I'm just gonna write all this down. Okay, so scarab guns, um, ODST weps, and nuke launcher, fist of rucked. Okay, looks good. As for vehicles, some extra ones. I'm only gonna add. I'm only gonna add the polished vehicles, the ones that have like damage states and stuff. So, Warthog, Civilian, Drop Pod, I'm going to add the Corvette, but not because, not because it's polished, just because it's cool. Um, what else? What else, what else? Get out of the gravity throne. Ask JS if he minds me putting the vulture in the mod. Uh, the shadow's already in. Oh, I'll make sure to put it on the list. Shadows, Spectre, both those are super polished. Anti air cannon's already in, but I gotta write it down. Pelican, Phantom, Longsword. Uh, Seraph, Spirit, uh, 
My Sparrowhawk. Oh, Skaboodly, it's good to see you. How is the Sparrowhawk coming along? Did you make any progress on it recently, or have you been busy? Is there anything else on the map that I'm not thinking of that I have right now? I don't think so. Oh. No, yeah, what else? Oh, right, and then the uh, uh, standalone turrets. Been very busy with infinite, but I just have to low poly it. Oh, rad. That's a really, really solid place to be. I mean, obviously making a retopology of it's going to be a big process on its own, but that's awesome. I'm glad to hear that you basically finished the whole high poly thing. That's huge. It's actually huge. Okay, the structure tab. This is where things get a little bit crazy, right? Because there's a lot in the structure tab and I want to add most of it, but I'm going to have to, I'm going to pick and choose specifically what I want. All right, here's how it's going to go. It's going to start on the structure tab with cliff. Small. Then medium, large. Grass. Small, medium, large. And then hill, medium. And then tree. Actually, I think it'll start with the trees. Tree. Small. Medium, large. Rock. Small, medium large then it'll go grass then it'll go cliff then I'll put the hill in there and then what else tree trunk shrub sure I'll have to figure out specifically where I want to organize those but then we move on to like forerunner stuff there's a bunch of cool foreigner objects in here we do the Forerunner plates. Um, what else? Oh, we'll put the water plane as well, so we can put water down on the map in certain places. And then reach, forerunner stuff. What else? I'll put the FX on there as well. But I'll, I'll do like crashed pelican. I don't think I put a crashed phantom down anywhere. I'll put the frigate again. I'd have to fix the frigate. Maybe I won't put the frigate. Well, it'll be cool for people to place it. I'll add it. Oh yeah, and then, wait, let's see. We got the reach foreigner stuff. Then crashed pelican will have the frigate. Then, should I add the ODST street stuff? I feel like it's kind of pointless to add because like, it's cool to have the street objects, but they're good on Ultimate Forge. Probably not so good on Huge Ass, because the city pieces are going to be kind of useless if you catch my drift. Like, I don't know. It's flat here. Like, this whole map is flat, so they work good. But on Huge Ass, or Huge Grass, it's not really going to be great. Please make a Retriever AI. Retriever. That's from Halo Wars, right? Is that from Halo Wars? What else is on here? Flood music. Oh wait, the road's actually pretty bomb. Um, how do you get so much crap in your map? Mine fatal errors due to too much scenery or vehicles added? I don't think that's why you're fatal erroring. I think what whatever scenery you're adding or vehicles have some kind of fatal error issue with them on either their effects or their models or their setup or some error. You should check what error is crashing you in your debug logs because just placing too much stuff down should not normally crash you. I might skip over the city stuff, but then I'll do AI spawners and FX. Retriever is basically the same class as a scarab, except it's a giant sentinel. Oh, that's rad. Oh, the retriever. That's right. That's uh, I think they those got reused in Halo Wars when they were originally concepted as the strato sentinels in the um, original trilogy before they got cut.
Okay, I think this is organized pretty well in my little document. You can't see it, but I've got it. So, these look good. Looks pretty good. And then on scenery, I think the only things I added into scenery are what? Drop pod clamp? I'll throw that in there as well, because if I'm, if I'm including the drop pod, I'll put the drop pod clamp. Put it like next to the miscellaneous section. That should be, oh, and the Covenant Bomb. Hmm, where should I put miscellaneous stuff? Because it's pretty organized other than these four. ODST Banshee? That could be cool. I'll have the ODST Banshee. So I've got a pretty good list of stuff here. Let me just share my, my screen like this so you can see. This is it's, it's really unorganized, but I know what I mean when I write all this down. So these are the weapons I'm going to add. Then I have all these vehicles I want to add in. I'll have to organize the... I, they, these are not in order. I'm going to have to reorder all of these. Then this is, this is in the correct order. This is how I want to do the forge menu. So all the ultimate forge structure pieces. Then a water plane. Then put the Forerunner stuff in there, like the buildings and the plates. Then the FX stuff, then the AI spawners. These, however, I need to find a place for them in the list because they're kind of like the miscellaneous section. Hold up, where's the chair? No chair. Where's the police pelican? I actually never added the police pelican into this mod now that I think about it. I was going to, actually. I'm not sure why I didn't. I think it was like busted or something. Never quite fish finished it. I'd like to now. The police pelican's sick. You ever replace the gauss cans with regular machine gun turrets since they're so overpowered? Huh? Why not just spawn the regular ones instead? Or are you talking about in the bases? Try to add the wombat to the menu. Oh, well, I hadn't made it yet. Oh, but you're right. You're right. That's the other one that I need to add. Wombat. Combat wombat. No cherry equals stinky poo poo. That is a little bit stinky, but you know, it's too exclusive. It's too much of a special vehicle. How do I know you deserve it? Okay. Let's go back to here. So, that's a pretty good list. A lot of cool Ultimate Forge stuff. I'm going to add it into the map. Uh, it'll be kind of tedious, so I think I'll do it off stream. But, that said, I did... I can... You know, let me load up Huge Grass and Forge really quickly. Game, start, levels, multi, huge ass, remastered, huge ass, remastered... Okay, let's let that load up really quickly. I do have Forge on there. I believe the only things you can spawn in right now are weapons. But I might go in and at least organize the vehicle section or something. Or maybe do the structure section. That could be cool. Demon, thank you for the two. I deserve the chair. I decide who deserves the chair. Such an exclusive and fantastic vehicle. Made with such love and care and finesse. To think that you could just so boldly proclaim... That you deserve the chair? Don't make me laugh. You just make me sick with talk like that. That's my chair. It's my baby. The chair doesn't even have damage states? How do you know that, huh? You, uh, you ever shot the chair? No, because it's my chair. You wouldn't know. Maybe it does have damage states. Maybe I have a texture where the foam rips up. Maybe the wheels pop off. You have no idea. You have no idea how hard I've worked on that goddamn chair. Army of Drakes tipped the $5 into the tip jar in the description. Thank you very much, Drakes. Appreciate it. I'm begging you. Please add the life pod. I see so many cool scenarios with it. Also... What about the Locust? I, I kind of forgot about the Locust, actually. Huh. Oh, that's right. I looked over it because of the word spawner next to it and all the biped spawners give me the ick. Um, yeah. I'd actually love to have the Locust on this map. Demon, thank you for the fiver. Nah, I deserve the chair. I'm the same color as it. What? I can't. I can't. I can't be here, this guy. I can't be here.
Okay. Chair content's over. I know you're disappointed, but it is what it is. There's no stopping it. How do I turn off weapon debugging? <gasps> oh, there. 20. Which is J. Alright, we're in the game now, in forge mode. Obviously, we're in the hangar. It's beautiful. <laughs> hey, yo! First of all, Xerxes re-upping for a three-month membership. Thank you very, very much, Xerxes. I really appreciate that. You got a cool gold badge now. Congrats. Chair damage states just add a cat ripping it up. Too real. <laughs> Too real. Too soon. <laughs> Fuck. But thank you for re-upping. I really appreciate that. And it's always good to see you. Those would unironically be good damage states. I'm not even going to lie. And Ray tipped one dollar. Thank you very much. Life pot. It just needs seats, please. Okay, maybe. I can guarantee I'll do that for the Ultimate Forge update, but I don't know. I don't want to delay this map any longer. I'll think about it, though. I'll take a look at it and see how easy it'll be. Okay, we've got the equipment. We're all of grenades and stuff. We've got all the weapons. Besides the new modded ones. So the forge menu does have those. Structure nature. Did I really call it that? Huh. Scenery, structure, nature, gameplay. Hmm. Maybe I could reorganize it like that. Should put two banshees opposite wombats. Oh, there are banshees over here. I added these. I removed the albatross for now since it was kind of difficult to make it work. It should be synced with Ultimate Forge in terms of the palette anyway. Well, not everything. There are certain certain things on Ultimate Forge where I was just like, okay, well, you really don't need, um, really don't need those certain things. I'm zooming. I'm zooming. Look at that, Banshees, fast and low. Green sitting there. Of course you put the blush emoji, you're just like, Oh my god, I'm gonna be able to spawn camp people with those. Ugh. Oh my god, look at that iridescence, the purple green iridescence. Ugh. Look at that. Look at those Halo 3 water effects. Oh my god, so good. Should do Space Banshees instead? They're better counterparts to the Super Wombats. Nah, these are just Banshee Banshees for the sake of being Banshees. They're still pretty powerful. They've got a lock-on missile. All that kind of good stuff. Take a guess how I had a 52 kill game in BTB and Infinite. What vehicle did I use? Uh, Mongoose. Definitely the Mongoose. God, I can't wait to bake high quality shadows. That looks so bad. Oh my god. Speaking of uh, all that gameplay and balance and stuff, there are multiple balance changes I need to make. Multiple, multiple. Well, when you guys have your next playtest session, you should confirm that. Yeah. Is this the final shape of the terrain? I mean, I'm going to be adding a lot of grass and detail to it and probably repainting the terrain just to make it a little bit cleaner. But yeah, it's going to basically just be these soft rolling hills everywhere. I'm not going to change it. At least I don't have any plans to right now. I might move some trees around, but... Yeah, mostly good. Mostly good. But yeah, this actually, this whole area needs repainting now that I see it. it's I redid the textures uh, in like their placement, but I never redid these patches of dirt and stuff. So I need to repaint the whole thing. Like AA Wraith, the Mantis AA Cannon definitely isn't going to be hitting the smaller craft. Wraith has... I feel like I had a lisp there for a second. Did you know the OG Huge Eyes map? There's actually a secret easter egg that lets you turn daytime into nighttime. I did know that. And I have an easter egg on this map as well. It's just like the original. Let me in. 
Let me in. Just please let me in. Please. Gotta go. Oh god, the Banshees don't open doors. Let me in. Did you manage to see if the Enforcer weapon control works in Halo 3? Um, uh, I'm not really sure. That sounds vaguely familiar. What is it, Enforcer weapon control again? Have you done anything with the light bridge yet where you're going to make it slide away when it turns off? No, not yet. I've been putting that off for a while, to be honest. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do. I just, like, it's been slipping my mind for a while, but... I can't release the map until I do that, so I'm going to have to do that in the next couple of days. It should be straightforward and easy, though. Ain't no problem. Did you fix the goddamn hammer? Yes, yes, I did fix the hammer. Here, I'll prove it. Uh, am I dumb? Don't answer that. There we go, much better. It is really crazy to be on foot in this map. Have I ever mentioned how, like, insane it feels to play this map on foot? Like, it's wild. It doesn't feel real. Like, this is Halo 3, dude. What the fuck? Am I using tag test? Yeah, this is tag test. Pretty cool. Okay, I do need to add the vehicle pallet in though. I like that they added these in MCC by the way. Shout out to 343 for just adding in this cool weapon stuff that used to, or these, um, like, spanker ammo, rocket ammo. M19 surface to surface missile times two. M12 or yeah, M12 millimeter shaped charge high explosive two. What do those numbers mean? Or if they mean anything at all. There's something I'll DM you later as to why I'm like, what the fuck? Okay, now I'm curious. Okay, let's, uh, let me add the vehicles, actually. I really want to add the vehicles to this map. Like, um, there's so many good ones, and I want to, like, I agree with Kane. This map is vehicle dominant. Oh, yeah, the whole point of this map is vehicles. That's why you spawn in a giant vehicle hangar. But let's add, um, I think I have to close tag test for this. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna add in the vehicles to the map so i'm gonna go to sandbox from halo 3 it has all the vehicles ever on it and then i'm gonna throw in a bunch of those vehicles so levels multi i'm not gonna do the forge ultimate forge sandbox i would copy the vehicles from ultimate forge but yeah there's too many on there and i want to reorganize it so I'm going to open up the sandbox level here in the editor. And I'm literally just going to copy and paste it into Ultimate Forge. Then I'll go back into Forge in a second and then mess around with them. Add faster ground vehicles. I'm, I'm tempted to increase the ground vehicle speed for everything. Just make like a little variant that go faster. I feel like you should increase default player speed to like 120 just because of how huge it is. Tempting, but no, I'll keep it default. I want to, I really do enjoy, as much as it's going to be annoying for some people, I really like the sense of scale that it provides. 
Okay, so we go now into Alpine Sandbox, into Scenario. If it were up to me, I'd, I would say I want to make the map smaller, but I really don't. <laughs> just change player speed in the game type settings. That's also true. I wouldn't want to adjust the default. Okay. So my vehicle palette for... Oh wait, this is Ultimate Forge. Whoopsies. Let's go to huge ass remastered, baby. Yeah. Let's open it up. Give Phantom Boost. I'm going to add Pelican and Phantom Boost. They're just honestly way too slow. It's just the worst. I'll probably give him like a 1.5 times speed boost. So now the map has all of the vehicles from, from the vanilla game, plus the added MCC stuff, which is pretty cool. However, it is now time to add the modded vehicles. And I have my list of modded vehicles I want to add here, so I've just got to organize it. So I think the way I'm going to organize it is like small to large. I kind of like doing small to large. Yeah, maybe I should have done from Ultimate Forge. Because I have to write their names and their strings as well. Maybe I'll do that. Anyway, though, I'll start by adding the Warthog Civilian onto the... Well, okay, let's organize it first. So small to large. Warthog Civilian... And I'll probably do, what, the dropships next? Oh, I guess the Jackrabbit is going to be on the map, so I'll, I'll put that on there. That is one thing I definitely did not make is the Jackrabbit, obviously. That was Green's Rig and Skaboodley's amazing handiwork and all of Skaboodley's fantastic design. Then, let's see, the Seraph. I'll add, like, small to large functional and then small to large extra stuff. Dropod, Corvette, Gravity Throne, Vulture, Shadow. Oh yeah, wait, Spectre and Shadow. And then Corvette, Gravity Throne, Vulture, A, and so Pelican, Phantom, Spirit. So Seraph and Pelican Phantom Spirit. Are you going to fix the invisible floor on the bridge scenery piece? Yes, I am. Tempted to do that today, if I'm being honest. Wanted to have drop pods or pelicans drop out of it in an ultimate forge map, but they have full collision. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. Um... I'm very tempted to fix that. I have the files for it and can fix it relatively easily. All right, okay, so Spirit, and then I'll do Longsword next. Then I do need to do the standalone turrets, actually. Let me do ODST, Banshee, Rock Civilian. Probably put the, yeah, I'll put the turrets at the bottom. And then AA cannon, with it actually being on the map, should go below the longsword. And then, this is definitely flood music. And then, what next? Gravity throne? I'm trying to think about, I'm kind of ordering it by size, but functionality and size is going to be hard. Maybe I'll do it like... I suppose I could do it down here. Gravity Throne, Rot Pod, and Vulture and Corvette. I actually don't know if I want to add the Vulture. Like, it's an amazing, amazing vehicle. But I do want to add it, though. Fuck. And Wombat should go, like, here, I think. So this is a pretty good list for everything. ODST Banshee, Warthog, Jackrabbit. Spectre, Shadow, Wombat, Seraph, Pelican, Phantom, Spirit, Longsword, AA Cannon, Standalone Turrets, Gravity Throne, Drop Pod, Vulture, Corvette. Not bad. It's a little mis disorganized in here at the bottom. 
Maybe... Maybe if I did like... Um, cause drop pod, I don't even want to have the drop pod cause I want to fix it and make it way look like way better visually, but yeah, whatever. Vulture. God, that's going to be a project. I wish that I, I almost wish I waited to mod reach cause I, one of the things I really, really want to do is make a much better drop pod, but maybe I'll just do that for reach any, anyway. Yeah, I'll probably just do that in reach and then port it over to Halo 3 some other time. Yeah, vulture. I could put the vulture in here like after the long sword and then I could put the drop pot I could put the gravity throne a little earlier on the list I don't you know what I'm not gonna add the gravity throne it's completely useless I'm not gonna add that it's literally it would be the worst vehicle on this map so standalone turrets I'm gonna move the standalone turrets up to here I think up to the top And then drop pod I will keep on the map, but I'll put it like I'll put it at the bottom of the list. No, it shouldn't be at the bottom of the list. Corvette should definitely be at the bottom of the list. I'll put the drop pod up higher, like. Where should I put it? I'll put it after the warthog. How about that? Now it's kind of ordered by size a bit. Not bad. It's a pretty good list. Ayla Reach. True. True. Okay, this, this is a pretty good list. Okay, I can start adding these in now. So I'm going I'm to move this over to my other monitor. So that way I can like see it. So we're going to get in first the standalone turrets. Which is... Turret standalone. Chain gun. That said, I do need to go to everything and set them all to use 255 as the maximum allowed and zero as the price. So basically you can just place as many as you want until the map like explodes. It's always a good thing. Bit of a pain in the ass, kind of tedious, but important nonetheless. Add target markers? Ah, oh, good point. I still haven't done that yet. Okay, now the other thing I need to do is go to my data folder to UI, Halo X, Sandbox UI, and then the, sh yeah, strings. Let's see, we've got strings open. Yeah, so I've literally got, these are all, you can't really read them, it's kind of, I'll just throw it on my other monitor so you don't have to deal with the messiness of it, but I've got all the string names for the Forge menu, so I can type them in for all my Forge objects. So turret standalone is, as you might guess, turret standalone. Then duplicate it. There's the chain gun one. Add another one. Next, I'm going to add the, what is it? ODST Banshee. Do I even have that? On ODST, find next. I have ODST spawners in here. ODST drop pod. I literally don't have ODST Banshee. I have to make a string for it. Okay, ODST Banshee equals banshee odst that looks good now that i've got that and i let me run the commands for strings really quickly so that way it gets in before i forget uh, tool oops tool strings ui halo x sandbox ui okay Cool. So now we've got the ODST Banshee, and so 
That should be the only time I have to do that. Let me go to Banshee. Banshee ODST. Cool, cool. Nah, next up. I found the inner piece. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I missed the Halo 3. Cut weapon. The Gadoosh. Oh, yeah. Isn't that the from the Pipset C build, that rocket launcher? Civ Hog. Okay, we get the Golden Warthog. Of course. Not a it's not a real mod unless you had the Golden Warthog. Then after that, we get the drop pod. It should just be, I believe, ODST pod. Then Skaboodle is beautiful jackrabbit. Then the Spectre. I fucking love the Spectre. It ended up coming out so good. Then I'm gonna guess the Shadow. Then we have the Wombat, the Combat Wombat, which I believe is the Drone Alpha. Yeah, Drone Alpha. I actually don't know. Yeah, I didn't make a I didn't make a string for that either. So Drone Alpha equals Wombat. Should I give it a different name, or should I just call it the Wombat? I feel like the Wombat is okay, but I could literally name it whatever I want. And then after that comes the Seraph. And the Pelican, of course. A custom Pelican flyable. And then the Phantom. Is it Phantom flyable? Phantom friendly. Phantom is Phantom, okay. No, wait, that's the wrong one. I almost added the old Phantom and I should delete that one. Okay, so that's the right Phantom and then we have the spirit, which should just be called Tuning Fork. Just saw it a second ago, so I've got that right. Demon! Thank you for the fiber. You could tint the wombat blue and call it the blue-footed booby. That's a bird name! That's that's an accurate bird name. That's lore accurate. Kinda like that. Maybe I'll add the blue-footed booby. Yo, jump in the booby. Get in the fucking booby, bro. Bro, I just got taken out by this fucking booby, man. Okay, and the last one is the Corvette, and I think I'm done. I might have messed up a string here or there, but it's, it's time to test it out and go into Forge. Condor, blah, 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 blah. Corvette is good. Yeah, I think I got everything right. I'm pretty confident I got everything right. I'm opening up Halo 3 Tag Test. Let's go into forge mode, baby! Oh. What did I just do? That sounded bad. I just yanked on something really hard and one of my monitors turned off. Hello? Are we good? Hello?
I don't know why it turned off 